Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Today I'm going to tell you about my three favourite knots and the ones I use most, which are the same three. <laughs> um, so first of all I'm going to tell you about a knot that I use with anything that you could use a figure eight on, so whether that be a pointy bar or whether it be sort of uh, two things that you're wrapping the rope around. Um, I'm going to show you a cleat hitch. So with the cleat hitch um, you first of all start off by wrapping the rope all the way around at the bottom and then you start the figure of eight um, and instead of putting the rope over the top you're going to put it underneath and then you pull it nice and tight do the same go as you would if you were carrying on with the figure of eight apart from again putting the rope underneath the uh, first line instead of over the top now this will give you a really nice tight knot it's great for mooring and it's also great for basically anything else that you need a nice tight knot for. Secondly, I'm going to show you um, another knot that we use for mooring, a full round and two half hitches. With a full round and two half hitches, it's really good for mooring when you're using pins or a bollard uh, or anything that's like one straight thing. Um, so the full round is the same as the beginning as the last one, take your rope all the way around. Now take the line and put it underneath the where the um, rope joins the bollard and make a letter D with both of those being completely underneath and then take the end of the rope and put that over the top of the first line and through the hole that you've just created and pull that nice and tight. That's your first half hitch. Take that line and pull it underneath again to form another kind of loopy D thing over the top and through the hole and pull it nice and tight and that is your second half hitch. So nice and simple there. Um, so half hitches are fantastic, um, we use them mostly for mooring and um, these are great knots for when you want your boat to stay in the same place basically. Um, the next knot I'm going to show you is really good for locks, so when your boat is going to be needing adjusting while it's going up and down in the lock, this is a really good one to use. Um, I'm going to call it a half lighterman hitch because I don't really know what it's called as it's not, I suppose, technically a knot knot, um, but it is uh, basically something I would use in a lock. Um, so you're going to take your rope, wind it around the bollard once and then as you come round again you put the rope underneath where your first line went and then up again and just hold it there. If you hold it tightly this is going to give you a really firm knot that you can then as the boat gets there further or needs tightening up you can just really easily take it off and tighten it or loosen it. So if you tie one of the first knots around when you're in a lock you can end up in a position when your boat gets so far down in the lock that your knot can't be undone and that's a really bad situation to be in so that's why we use this knot instead. Those are my three favourite knots. Please let me know in the comments what your favourite knots are um, and if you use any of the knots that I use. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please join us again on this narrowboat adventure. My name is Jasmine and I want to give a big shout out to some of my Patreons. Um, so I announced my Patreon last week and um, it's going quite well. I'd love to say a massive thank you to Mary Lee. You're one of my first patrons and I really appreciate it. Another great big thank you to Malcolm Pemberton. Malcolm Pemberton has also donated and so has Jay Moran. Jay Moran, you the man. Thanks for being one of my patrons. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do come again. Join us again on this narrowboat adventure by clicking subscribe. Thanks very much and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.